Hi guys, this is Crossy of Eclipse Gaming TV and welcome to part 20 of my Boyhood Dream series with Gillingham FC on FM 2015. And it was another two losses for us last time out um, after a little gap of uh, no parts. Apologies for that. And um, yeah, I'm not sure how well I'm, go I'm going to be able to keep up with things, but I will uh, do my very best to try and not let things die completely as we uh, go forward. A um, couple of uh, interesting things that have happened. Um, we assigned Jonathan Woodgate to try and uh, shore up our defences. Um, I think the centre-backs with him and Calvert is about where I want it to be. A little bit worried about the full-backs. Um, they seem to be exposing us a little bit, so I am going to try and rotate and uh, put the well, backups in, if you want to call it that. Uh, Gillingham, head of youth development, Darren Hare has successfully continued his pursuit of professional coaching qualifications, so he's got his Continental A license. Okay, awesome. So that's a good sign. Uh, Phil Wise, first out, National C license. Okay, awesome. So we've got a couple of our coaches that have taken the next step and improved themselves a little bit. See if we can push that on a little bit further. Cannot find the funding. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, never mind. Question is towards struggling Gillingham. Yeah, thanks for that. That can is a further too much ban. We're sending off. Okay, so yeah, he's properly hacked someone then. It, it looked pretty bad, even on this dodgy 3D match engine. I could tell he'd uh, got in a bit heavy on someone. Um, but anyway, let's start with a, a quick pick to begin with. Um, and why are these guys ineligible? I already involved in another match. Okay, fair enough. Um, okay, I've not actually got any other players that I can... <laughs> Throw in to take that last spot on the bench. That's disappointing. Let's see who's my most talented youth player. Tony German shouldn't be in here anyway. We'd seen your squad. He's coming back to uh, fitness. About in the under 18s. Tom Hadler, defender. Okay, I've got no one that's really going anywhere here. And shame, so Dan Bent is going to get the uh, the nod, the chance to sit on the bench here. And sort out of these tactics then. So, Dan Bent onto the bench. Oh, no wonder I moved. Uh, Tony a German. He is out on loan to Bristol Rovers, so let's stick him back where he belongs. Uh, right, so we've got Calvert and Woodgate. I'm going to make two changes at the back. Uh, Frank Schimek is going to slot in at right back. Marcus Painter is going to slot in at left back. And maybe these two won't be quite so error prone, but I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope, to be honest. Uh, so Hessenthaler and Pritchard going into uh, central midfield because Dak has been uh, banned for a further two games. I think he's already set out the one. Got Jordan Lussey available and the Liverpool Loney, who may well rotate in and try and give us a bit of creativity later on uh, in the game. Earnshaw and Norris. Earnshaw, I think, has scored uh, five goals in three. Uh, five goals in four, my mistake, but not a bad record at all. Luke Norris has pretty much been a bystander in the whole thing, but with Heskey and McDonald out, he's been the only option. And uh, Simon Eastwood, on loan from Blackburn uh, for a month, is going to slot in uh, because we have lost Stuart Nelson to a groin strain. Little something I do, little habit really, is um, at the start of the season, I try and make a few moves at least and try and get the squad to have at least some of my identity stamped on it and in doing that I tend to offload the backup goalkeeper to free up wage room uh, which is exactly what I did here and it means that if Nelson goes down we haven't got any other options but luckily he managed to make a loan signing which is good So 
And we're up against Yeovil here. Solid mid-table side. Then we've got Barnsley next up, who are one of those teams that we needed to uh, be leapfrogging. Chance for Dickinson to run, see what he can do. Gets dispossessed, but we are going to get possession from the throw-in. So we don't do anything with it, though, unfortunately. Shimmick mops up. Chance to drive forward now. As that shows, uh, Shimmick slightly less forward thinking than uh, Matt Fish. Which will hopefully mean we're slightly less exposed at the back. Dickinson, chance to uh, make a bit of space. Tries to pass it. McGlashan tries to pass it. Basically, we try to be Arsenal there and pass it into the back of the net. And it clearly hasn't worked. There's just not enough space in there for that. Would have liked to have seen Dickinson try and hit the target since he's... Uh, well, both him and McGlashan aren't exactly shoo-ins for the first team. And short to Norris. Holds it up. Feeds Pritchard. He sells uh, Dickinson short. Hessenthal, chance to do so. McGlashan to Earnshaw to Norris. Well and truly scuffed wide. Eastwood, bit of catch in practice. Ball comes straight back at us from the, uh, the kick up field from the goalie. Calvert, well in. Pritchard again. Heavy pass. Misdirected and puts us under pressure. Well, at least we find ourselves uh, coming into half time. Tell Dickinson I've got faith in him because he's uh, looking a little bit frustrated out there and he seems to have taken that really well. Can he reward us with a goal? Or can he at least put the ball in the region of Earnshaw so he can score us the goal? I really don't care as long as we get something out of this and don't concede from the free kick. Okay, here's a chance in McGlashan to Pritchard. Been selling people short with his passes so far. Doesn't there though, Norris draws a save. Dickinson goes and tries to get on the end of it. Doesn't quite, but we earn ourselves a corner. Pritchard to Norris to earn short. His pass is too heavy now. Look, we played now is worth of football and managed to keep a clean sheet, which is rare. <laughs> and short just outside, draws a save. Pritchard, chance to get back in. Loses the ball though.
10 minutes left to play. Yeovil have had the better rub of the uh, second half. I think you could say Shimek though with the header. Just can't get hold of the football in that midfield area. And it was going so well. <laughs> Thinking, yeah, we might have to uh, nick something out of this. Now the only thing we've got half a hope of nicking is a point, but after that... <clears throat> yeah, I think we can wave goodbye to that point as well, eh? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> At what point do we become dead and buried and just have no chance of digging ourselves out of relegation? Don't think that point is going to be far away. Seems like this pattern keeps emerging. We lose, I get angry with the players, they react well. And Brennan Dickinson out for four to five weeks, so that's going to draw a formation change then. So next game out then, we are up against Barnsley, who are kind of down in the relegation battle where we are, but a lot closer to the safety than we are as well. By about 15 points it must be now. You see it's got um, Abu... Not... Oh, I forgot where I was going with that. Um, forgotten his name. That is Abu Dhabi. I was thinking, no, that's Abu Dhabi. That's the place. But no, Abu Dhabi injured for four weeks. I'm surprised he's even playing football. Because um, I think there's talk that he's not actually going to be making it back. <laughs> Never going to play for Arsenal again or something, despite him being on the squad for about five years. So no such luck there. Um... Shooting for John Egan from uh, Woodgate. Might as well make the most of it while he's here. Some of these was loan deals due to uh, end soon. Yeah, we know. Having conceded three goals on debut, I think he's going to be quite glad to go back to Blackburn. Emil Heskey has uh, resumed full training. I think we may well have to uh, slot him in alongside Angel because Norris is a pedestrian the whole time. A lot of heat on Luke Norris from that former and retired players, it seems. Wouldn't call that particularly helpful.
Okay, so let's get to this. How are we dealing with Emil Heskey's fitness? Hmm. Well, we're going to have to change the formation here because I've got very little in the way of other wide players. So Luff's going to stay in the hole. Hessen Tara and Lussie with Pritchard behind. Yeah, happy enough with that. Norris and Earnshaw. See what Norris can do off the bench. Let's try and change things up a little bit. So Heskey up top. As you come back from injury, maybe you don't want to play him for a full game. Okay. Let's see how we do here. Woodgate are already trying to pick out the height of Heskey. And two minutes in, we already uh, allow a free header. Would go ahead and clear. Just need to get hold of the football. Try and take the pressure off a little bit. Would go up to Heskey. Finds Heston Tyler. Martin skips past one. Finds Hessenthaler in the middle. Out of force a corner. That'll do. Chance of Woodgate, back post. And looks like we managed to get back and stop the break, which is handy. Matt Fish well in. I'll just sink out the last game. Good to see that he's... Uh, Solid is defensive duties. Heskey nearly got on the end of that. So half an hour gone, clean sheet. Quite surprising for us. But not like going forward again. Not like controlling the midfield either. Despite its drop into the diamond, still can't get hold of it. And talking about revenge seems to fire some of these players up, so we'll uh, stick with that route. And send ball in to Lussie. Catching practice for Turnbull in the uh, Barnsley goal. Heskey. 
Heskey settles Earnshaw short. Route one staff. Oh. And Wood we'll ends up getting stuck on the player pretty much. Calvert not having the pace to get back. Richard up to Heskey. Chance for Earnshaw to run with it. And give it away. Woodgate well in. And knocks it into the path of forward as he does so. Shot of fish then. Can we get a point out of this at least? Loft into Heskey. Out to Martin. Fish. Unsure. No. Could be a football at least. It's quite rare but we can do it. Heskey through to Earnshaw. Great ball. Can he middle it? No he can't. Oof. Turns to the corner, got Woodgate hovering at the back post. And then he delivered the ball. There we go, thank you. Not like we're losing or anything. I'm sure, ooh, side netting. Short of fish. Can't quite get any room. That's for Lussie. Pritchard nowhere to go. Lussie nowhere to go. Pritchard nowhere to go. Other than give the ball away. And still nothing. Another very poor result. Chance against a team that were sort of down there-ish, but a long, long way ahead of us still. And no such luck. So let's have a look at the uh, the table sit. So nine games left to go, which gives us 27 possible points. And we are 16 points away from safety. Um, and it seems like the teams down there just keep extending while we keep losing. Uh, which isn't good. So I think we can all but write this season off, to be honest. Um, trying to think of what options I've got. Possibly do I start rotating in some of the uh, younger players and, and make sure they're getting some football and developing, like Luke Norris. Do I make sure he's playing every game? Might not be a terrible plan. Um, by the same token, these lads are probably going to be playing every game for us going forward. John Egan, for example, four and a half star potential. So he's been sitting out some games, but maybe I should be sticking him in after all. I don't know. Um, all things we're going to have to weigh up. Um, Joe Martin, would he stick around? Probably not. I think I'm sort of thinking towards what the plan is going to be for next season. Who do I keep? Who do I offload? Etc. Etc. But maybe that's not the right plan and we should be 
looking to try and do what we can this season as well who knows uh, but thank you very much for watching guys uh, hopefully you will stick with us and um, if we do end up getting relegated maybe next season will be a little more enjoyable but i guess it's different to watch someone failing miserably on football manager not taking some no hope team into the champions league etc which is what it used to be in previous years it certainly got a lot more realistic or so i felt um, and 14 and 15 but any comments you got for me things you'd like me to try and change and see if we can reverse our fortunes uh, in the dying uh, embers of the uh, league season then please let me know in the comment section give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because there is lots of good stuff and uh, i've noticed that we have uh, crept over 20,000 views on the channel now which is uh, a pretty impressive milestone i didn't think i'd get anywhere near that to be honest so thank you very much for uh, sticking with it and and watching the videos and um hopefully i can start rewarding you with a few wins once in a while fingers crossed anyway but i will catch you next time thank you very much <laughs>